Hello, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking about you lately and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 18th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 2.40 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius who has been thinking about them and why. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this person has been reliving the past, bringing up the past, thinking a lot about the past, right? Um, the magician here is in love first, so this person could be a Virgo, nine of pentacles, this person could be a... Virgo cup on Taurus, strong Virgo, two Virgo cards here, eight of wands in love verse. Hmm. Maybe there's a delay in communication, no communication, or very little communication between the two of you. They've been thinking a lot about the three of cups where both of you share good times, happy times together. Um, and the justice here indicates hmm, Something serious. Justice is definitely serious or something legal. Ten of Pentacles about the future, right? This person will be thinking about if they should be serious with you. If there would be a future for the both of you. And we've got the Seven of Cups here. So they're confused. They're not sure what's going on. Six of Swords and one first. I'm not sure about the future, but definitely could be thinking about that. Eight of Wands and one first. It's like stuck, but it's like I want to move forward, but I don't know. Seven of Cups. I'm not 100% sure. Mm. See, another stuck energy. Six of Swords and one first. Should I move forward? Is this connection going to be successful connection will we talk or will we talk again will we have good communication with each other but the 801 sometimes can indicate travel um either either travel or i feel like this could be them thinking about returning it, especially if you are separated from this person, okay? Because Six of Swords in reverse can get someone returning. Should they return or should they stay, okay? If they stay, you know, Eight of Wands, how would this connection move forward? How would it be like? So they're not sure. Seven of Cups. But definitely thinking about the future here. Ten of Pentacles about home situation. Either it could be living together making things official between the two of you will we have a family together will we will we get married if you're already married they could be thinking this person could be thinking about will we stay married right let's see more judgment eight of pentacles five of pentacles and reverse I could be thinking about you, Nine of Pentacles here, if you've been working really hard, Eight of Pentacles, how much respect they have for you, but also Three of Cups, good times, how fun you are, but also how hardworking you are at the same time. I feel like it's this balance, because the Justice is like a balance card as well, a fair card, but there's something that they're not sure about. Maybe it's related to distance. Maybe it's maybe both of you, this person lives far away from you, could be at a distance from you. If that's the case, how, you know, how will it be for the both of you? Like, what it, it's it's like being with you would mean making a very life changing big decision, 
because else there won't be a future, right? I mean, the future will not be secured. Hmm. Eight of Wands can indicate conversations as well, and Three of Cups can indicate social media. So this person could be thinking about something that they have seen on your social media and they are kind of like making a judgment call, judging you from your social media. If you have social media, unless it's you checking up on your social media, then they could be thinking about you maybe watching their social media or going to judge them in regards to something that they may have posted lately, okay? This, this part is just for some of you if you have social media because not everybody does, even, even though most people do. But I have seen some comments saying like, oh, the moment you said social media, I know that part of the story is not for me because I don't have social media. Well, actually, YouTube is also social media, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, well, let's see more. Got a page of pentacles in love verse, seven, uh, six of cups in love verse, knight of wands, yeah. This person desires you, is passionate about you, really. I would say they, they still think, this person thinks highly of you, um, how good looking you are, all the good things about you, but there is something here, six of cups in love verse, there is a mix it's like really positive things, but there's something from the past, something that may have happened between two of you that may have left you or them or both of you with some bad memories, okay? Page of Pentacles, here's in reverse. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And the page is in reverse. It can indicate someone not speaking, not speaking or can be very immature, This could be that person who is immature, yeah, their immaturity or them not speaking with you. I think the judgment, they are definitely bringing up something from the past, thinking a lot about the past. The magician here is in reverse. So they could be thinking about something that was, that they may have realized about you. Something that was being revealed. Or maybe there's someone you have found something out about them. You've seen their true colors with the magician in reverse. Hmm. I'm going to pull out a few of these articles. I knew exactly what I was doing. So this person could be somebody very judgmental. They may have said something about you that may have made you feel a certain way, okay? Excuse me. I, I've been coughing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so attracted to you. This person is still attracted to you, thinking about how attractive you are. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, most likely there's someone you're not talking to right now or very little communication. I want you. Yeah, this person still wants you. We both know I'm not the one for you. There's a separation, most likely. This is someone who may have, you know, put you out in the cold with the five pentacles here in reverse. And then you could have in turn just focused on your work when this hap uh, separation happened. The hermit here in reverse. This person could be feeling kind of lost right now. Possibly re-evaluating a justice, um, re-evaluating a decision that he or she may have made, which, you know, it's on the cups. This is leaving them feeling confused again or unsure if they made the right judgment call, right? Because this person could be wondering if both of you would have been together long term. You know, it's like... It hasn't happened because of the Sun of Cups here. They could be dreaming about it, thinking about it, fantasizing about it. But this is also like a what-if energy. 
what if we would stay together? What if I made a better judgment call? What if I didn't say this? What if I didn't do this? Would we both end up being together forever? Would it have been a very committed uh, long-term connection where both of, us, both of us will start family together or grow old together, okay? Leo Aries Sash, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I go live and every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care. Bye.